do is we sow with expectation. We sow with joy. We sow in faith because there is power in a seed. Amen? Look at your neighbor and say, you have seed power. You have seed power. I want you to look at this, this picture they're going to put up in just a, a moment. The, this, this picture that you see here, at the very beginning, you see a seed, and you see it at different stages of its growth. Amen? What I want to explain to you is this, is that seed, that seed itself, it doesn't know that it's a seed. The seed doesn't know it's a seed. The seed believes it is the plant already. It doesn't have any idea what a seed is because in that seed, I am a plant. In that seed, if it's a seed for a pea, I'm already peas. I'm already a pea plant. <laughs> in that seed, that seed is saying I'm already a bean plant. I'm not a bean. I'm not a seed. I'm a bean plant already. Everybody, so what I'm explaining to you is that that seed would say something like this. You see a seed, but I see a cedar tree. You see a seed, but in me is an apple tree. You see a seed, but, but I am a forest. I don't know what you're seeing. You, see, you say you see a seed, but I see a forest in me. Anybody hear what I'm saying? The seed has more faith in it than you put in the seed. What I'm trying to explain to you is this will happen in the seed whether you believe it or not. All it takes is to sow. Okay, let me let me put it to you like like this. And and and, and I, I don't want you to. There's a video. I don't want you to show the video. I don't, don't show the video. I don't show the video. There's something I want you to understand about a seed. Somebody say there's power in a seed. The thing about the seed that I want you to understand is that the seed can do nothing until it is planted. The seed can have all the power it can have on the inside of it, but it matters not until that seed is in the ground. Amen? That seed can, you can have a million seeds above ground, but it means nothing until those seeds are in the ground. Amen? And what I'm explaining to you is that you take that seed, you put it in the dirt, you drench it with water, and you keep it drenched with water. And what will happen is that seed will look like it is dying, but right, be, right after the death comes life. Amen? What I want to explain to you about a seed is what happens first is the seed grows roots first. It doesn't grow up first. It grows down first. So what I'm explaining to you is that you sow a seed and it looks like nothing is happening. But under the ground, under where you have sown, there is life that is taking place. There are roots that are grabbing hold because when this thing comes up, it's going to need some stability. You don't have to dig it up to find out if it's growing. You don't have to dig it up to find out if God is moving in that seed. The seed can handle itself. 